What is up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to go over what I use during the tattooing process and why. There's a couple different brands out there to be able to use when you're tattooing, to be able to create a barrier over the skin, to tattoo perfect lines every time. So let's get into it. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101. Make sure you like and subscribe down below to keep up to date on all of the cool tattooing stuff I talk about each week. So what are the things that you can use to tattoo on people and why I do use and why I don't use some things. So you can see I have two different ones right here. These are two that I actually do use. You don't see Vaseline in front of me. Now, if you're working on fake skins only, Vaseline is what I use. Um, it works great for keeping the ink off of the fake skin. It doesn't muddy it up and you know it's able to get the ink off of the skin. Now, Vaseline's really, really cheap. Do I want to be using this stuff that's actually way more expensive than Vaseline on fake skins? Not really. So the things that I do like and don't like about these two products. So the first one is going to be Hustle Butter. Um, I've used this pretty much for the past, let's say seven years. Yes, six, seven years. It doesn't matter. Um, and I like it a lot. The biggest con I have with this is I really enjoy to have, you know, the tattooing ointment on my left hand on my glove. So I'll keep it right here. So when I'm pulling a line, you know, I could stretch, be able to pull it and then use my pinky, put it on that line and keep going. I only put it on my pinky for reasons of stretching and slippiness on my machine. If you get it all over your hand, your machine's going to slip. You're not going to be able to stretch out your skin. So I like to keep it all right here and right here so I could be efficient with everything without making a mess. Biggest problem I have with this is it works really, really well. It keeps the stencil there. It doesn't smear it anywhere because it's a buttery texture. So it's not like a gelatin. It's actually um, kind of like a wax almost. But with that, when it heats up, it's going to slide up your arm. And if you're not careful, Obviously, you're using it while you're tattooing, and it'll just slide up your glove and try to touch your skin, which is gross. So, I'll use this for tattoos to where, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time um, that I want the stencil to hold up really, really well on, but not something that, you know, is going to take me, you know, a really long time or the specific style I'm working on. You know, realism, it works really well because I want the stencil to hold up and it doesn't really smear the stencil, but it could be a little bit hard to work with me personally. I know other artists use it all the time and it's no issue at all. But me personally, that's why I have the small one of this and the huge jug of this. Now, Inkies, Green Glide, they have Purple Glide, they have Pink Glide, they have, I think, Black Glide. That's probably, it's like black, so dark glide, I don't know. Um, but green glide is my favorite just because the scent is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna smell it, but it smells really good when you're using it. You could see that it's more of like a gelatin, so it doesn't, it still heats up, it'll slide a little bit, but it's kind of sticks together. It's not like a wax to where it melts and wants to slide everywhere. So it works really, really great. The scent is nice because if you've tattooed for a while, you'll notice that different blood and plasma has a different smell to it. And that's really, really gross to say out loud. But yeah, I, I don't like the smell of that necessarily, especially on some people. So this will kind of give a better scent um, to be able to go over the tattoo. Um, so you don't have to sit there and smell that the whole time. So that's just the smell. Obviously there's different scents and everything you could choose. The best one, I like the green as well. Um, the purple one I believe is lavender. I'm pretty sure it's lavender. It also has a good smell as well. Those are the two I kind of use. I'll go back and forth if I get, you know, tired of it. But this works really well. The It doesn't hold the stencil as good as the Hustle Butter, but it holds it up good enough to where I don't have any issues doing a tattoo. You know, even if it's a long near traditional tattoo, still holds up really, really well. Um, a couple other things with this product. Um, let's see here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. I can honestly say that I've never opened up that part. But yeah, it has a couple different vitamins in it. Um, it could also be used as an aftercare product, which me personally, I just use unscented lotion. 
Um, that's how I have pretty much been healing my tattoos forever. And the way that I tattoo, it works perfectly. I'm sure this would work as well, but I just recommend unscented lotion. It's just how I do things. It has directions for the client and for the artist. So for artists, apply as needed during the tattoo application. For aftercare, use sparingly as needed during the healing process. So use it throughout the tattoo, um, just like we talked about. And yeah, it's petroleum based, which is, you know, the main thing that I wouldn't recommend putting on tattoos through the healing process. But when you're actually tattooing, you know, it creates a barrier. It helps the tattoo ink be able to come up so it doesn't smear everywhere. Hold your stencil. All those things are really, really important. So that's why I use Green Glide and by no means am I sponsored by them or anything that I go on here. I know that I did a review on the critical battery packs and someone said that I must be sponsored because they're super expensive and why would you buy that? But I'm not sponsored. I use the stuff that I enjoy and I will give you a story exactly why I use those things to be able to help you along your journey and to figure out what will work best for you. So take my advice and use it however you want to be able to, you know, get new stuff, I guess. But as always, I hope this was able to help you out. And if you haven't signed up for our email list yet, make sure you do that. We send out emails all of the time that give you great information on becoming a tattoo artist or just little tips and tricks to get you through the daily life of becoming a tattoo artist. So if you want to do that, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. And I hope to see you on the next video.